Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Today we are going to discuss a concept called permutations and combinations. Now what do you mean by permutation in a single word and what do you mean by combination in a single word? Permutation in a single word is arrangement and combination in a single word is selection. Now before we start solving the problems in this chapter, let us try to discuss some basic points. That is what do you mean by permutation and what do you mean by combination? With a small example, let us start. Let us suppose there are three friends A, B, C who want to go to a movie, a newly released movie. All the three friends, they stand in a line to purchase the tickets. Now what are the possibilities? of the number of tickets they can get. Now the possibility of the number of tickets they can get is either they may get one ticket or they may get two tickets or they may get three tickets or they may not get any ticket. Now all the three friends are very desperate to see the movie. If they have one ticket, who will go to the movie? If they have one ticket, either A, B or C will go to the movie. If they have two tickets, who will go to the movie? Either A, B or B, C or A, C will go to the movie. If they have three tickets, all the three will go to the movie. And if they do not have any ticket, all the three will not go to the movie. Now what are we doing here? If you look carefully, here we are selecting one out of three. In how many ways can we select one out of three is three different ways. And what are the three different ways? A, B and C. Here they have two tickets. That means we need to select 2 out of 3. So, who will go to the movie? Either AB, BC or AC. So, the number of ways in which we can select 2 out of 3 is 3 different ways and these are the 3 different ways. Here we select 3 out of 3 and here we do not select anyone. So, not selecting anything is also one selection. Now, each of these selections is called a combination. So, what is the definition of combination? Out of n different things, if some or all the things are selected at a time, then each of these selections is called a combination. Here, each of these selections is called a combination. Now, coming to the formulas in this particular concept out of n different things, if we want to select r things, in how many ways can it be done? It can be done in n c r ways. Now what is the formula for n c r? n c r is actually given by n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial. So, the meaning of NCR is selecting R things out of N different things and it is given by the formula N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial. Now, coming back to this example, what are we doing here? Out of three friends, we are selecting one. So, in how many ways can it be done? Three C one ways. Now, according to the formula, 3 C 1 should be equal to 3 factorial by 3 minus 1, 2 factorial into 1 factorial. Now, 3 factorial is 6, 6 by 2 factorial is 2 and 1 factorial is 1. So, 6 by 2 it is 3. So, we can see the 3 different ways A, B, C. What are we doing here? Out of 3 friends, we select 2 friends. In how many ways can it be done? 3 C 2 ways which is 3 factorial by 3 minus 2, 1 factorial 
into 2 factorial. 3 factorial is 6, 6 by 2, 3. What are we doing here? Out of 3 friends, we select all the 3 friends. It is done in 3C3 three ways, which is 3 factorial by 3 minus 3, 0 factorial into 3 factorial. 3 factorial and 3 factorial get cancelled and 0 factorial is 1. So, one way, we can see the one way. What about here? Out of 3 friends, we do not select any one. So, 3C0, 3 factorial by 3 factorial into 0 factorial, which is again 1. So, not selecting anything is also one selection. So, each of these selections is called a combination. Now, let us look into some basic points. What is the value of NC0? Now, what is the meaning of NC0? That is, out of n different things, we do not select anything and it is done in one way. What is the value of NC1? NC1, that is selecting 1 out of n different things and it is done in n ways. Next, NCN. Now, what do you mean by NCN? Selecting n different things out of n different things, that is selecting all out of n different things and it is done in one way. Now, these are some points which we need to remember. Now, let us take one small example. NC3, if NC3 is equal to NC5, then what is the, what is the value of N? NC3 equal to NC5, what is the value of N? Now, what is NC3? Look into the solution. NC3 is nothing but n factorial by n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial, which is equal to NC5, which is n factorial by n minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial. Now, solving this, n factorial and n factorial get cancelled. n minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial, we can write it as 5 into 4 into 3 factorial, which is equal to n minus 3 factorial can be written as n minus 3 into n minus 4 into n minus 5 factorial into 3 factorial. Now, simplifying this, n minus 5 factorial and n minus 5 factorial get cancelled, 3 factorial and 3 factorial also get cancelled, solving this, n square minus 7 n plus 12 equal to 20. Bringing this side, n square minus 7 n minus 8 equal to 0. Factorizing this, n square minus 8 n plus n minus 8 equal to 0. n, if you take out common, n minus 8 plus 1 into n minus 8 equal to 0. So, n plus 1 into n minus 8 equal to 0, that is n plus 1 should be equal to 0 or n minus 8 should be equal to 0, but n value cannot be negative, so the value of n is 8. But if you look carefully, this is a very, very lengthy process to solve this particular problem. Now, in combinations, we have a formula, ncr is also equal to nc n minus r. Now, both are different in meaning, but equal in value. Now, let us solve this particular problem using that particular point. Now, in the question it is given, n c 3 is equal to n c 5, then what is the value of n? If n c 3 equal to n c 5, then n c, I assume 3 as r, n c 5, this 5 should be equal to n minus r. So, n minus r equal to 5, where the value of r is 3. So, n minus 3 equal to 5 or n is equal to 8. So, using that simple point, we can find out the value of n, n is equal to 8. Now, let us take one more small problem and try to solve it. Z equal to n c 8. If n c 5 equal to n c 8, then find the value of n c 2. A simple problem, a basic problem. 
n c 5 equal to n c 8 then find the value of n c 2 obviously in order to tell the answer for this we need to find the value of n n c 5 equal to n c 8 so directly we can write the value of n as 5 plus 8 that is 13 so we need to find what is the value of n c 2 that is we need to find the value of 13 c 2 now how to find the value of 13 c 2 without writing down the formula we know that n c r is n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial without writing all that how can we tell the value of 13 c 2 quickly multiply two numbers in the descending order from 13 that is 13 into 12 by 2 factorial so 2 factorial is nothing but 2 2 6 so 13 6 are 78 so the answer is 78 thank you for watching for more videos subscribe to narishati